And that's the last filter we need to replace. Thanks, guys. Happy to help, Graham. Happier to be done. Cody, how'd soccer tryouts go? I didn't make the team. I'm sorry, what was that? I didn't make the team. Oh, bud, that, that's too bad. No, 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 too bad. He just ruined our family legacy. Look at these trophies, me, dad, even Graham. We had to build a whole shelf for Danny. Every Burns is a soccer star. Wait, is soccer the one where they run back and forth across the same patch of grass? I think that's called football. Cody, don't feel bad. You're good at lots of other things. But nothing that counts. When he's right, he's right. Ow! What? I said he was right. I want the whole team at the Griffin Rock Fun Zone now. Why, Dad? Need more tokens? Nope. But I could use a mechanical bull spotter. I believe it has spotted us, sir. Insert more tokens to continue the ride. <laughs> Insert more tokens to continue the ride. Chief, my tactics appear ineffectual. Do not humans advise to grab the bull by the horns? Unfortunately, they don't tell you what to do next. Oh. Holy! A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. He's a poke in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the humans, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. Family of heroes will be your allies. Roll to the rescue! Danny, try to get a visual on the mechanical bull. We need to corral it before it runs too far. Sure, Dad. But just one question. Where did that thing come from? It's an experimental carnival ride from the mainland. That thing's supposed to be fun? Programmed with extras to make staying on the bull's back more challenging. And our job harder. An untested prototype malfunction here. What are the chances? Based on local statistics, I calculate 99.9%. <sighs> I've ridden tons of mechanical bulls. How bad can this one be? <laughs> Stand back, partner. I'll rustle this little doggy. Insert more tokens to continue the ride. intelligence. Maybe we can talk it down. I shall attempt reason. Halt! This area is not zoned for livestock. Or mechanical stock. Ah, I see we share a respect for civil coding. Don't worry, the muscle's here. Looks like you put the tech in sleep mode. Nice work, partner. No problem. After all, I am a bulldozer. <laughs> Dozer. <laughs> Good one. Do you remember when the bots didn't understand Earth humor? I miss those days. 
Cody, can you tell Doc we have something for him? I'll meet you at the lab, Dad. On guard! And... Ha! Consider yourself proved. Hey, Doc. Hope you have room on the Best Left Forgotten shelf. The bots are bringing you a... Wait! Don't tell me! Is it a space-time continuum rupturing toaster? <sighs> a giant mechanical bull. That was my next guess. But I'm afraid this is too big and potentially too dangerous for the BLF. It belongs on the island of Misfit Tech. Wait, the island? You mean it exists? I always thought it was a bedtime story. Oh, dear. I seem to have spilled a top secret. Hold on while I get my memory-erasing earmuffs. It's okay, Doc. The whole team has maximum security clearance. What's so secret about another island, anyway? This one is the storage center for Griffin Rock's most hazardous experiments. It's in the middle of the ocean, completely impossible to find. Then how can we send tech there? Follow me. <gasps> Wait, we're carrying this thing the whole way? Are there stairs? Ta-da! Yeah, Doc, there's nothing here. So it seems. But with a jump to the left... <laughs> Come on! Dr. Green, your appearance is quite disarming. Okay, that is a little creepy. There's an entire building back here, hidden by the hologram. Just close your eyes and... Follow my voice. Lady and gentlemen, may I present the Beam Box. It has a more scientific name, but mine's quite catchy, don't you think? Teleportation through this chamber is the only way to the island of misfit technology. Entanglement-based delivery without biodigital cloning? Doc, how'd you build this? I didn't. In fact, I don't know who did, or even how it works. Good thing my predecessors left me this instruction manual. Oh yeah, sounds totally safe. Enough! <coughs> ah. The bulls failed technology. Just destroy it. Ah, but a failure in one category may be a success in another. For example, nobody thought mold on an orange was useful until a scientist discovered it was medicine. <laughs> also, a good way to tell when it's time to clean the fridge. Similarly, this machine makes a horrible nose hair trimmer, but on plants, it's perfect. That's why we tag everything we send to the island. If we decide later that getting rid of the tech was a mistake, we can call it back. Which is about as likely as the soccer team changing their mind about Cody. Oh, you, you didn't make the team? Why didn't you tell me, son? Because he's humiliated. Come on, guys, show him a little sensitivity. Ow! Would you quit doing that? Cody, there's no need to be ashamed. Soccer's not the only sport out there. It's the only one that matters. Should those optics be glowing? Hmm. It seems one of the bull's internal systems is restarting. I'm on it. I'm beginning to think this guy doesn't like me. Not you, your color. Bulls hate the color red. That's only a myth. Somebody better tell the bull. Or whoever programmed it. <laughs> now I see why they don't let those things in China shops. Quickly! Get the bull inside before it damages any machinery. Hey, bull! Bull over here! Hey, bull! Let's go! Doc, shut off the beam box! Oh, man, my comlink! Come back! Uh. 
Scrap Master, Data, online. Wow, an early version of the Scrap Master. But why would a trash compactor be sent here? Refuse marked for destruction. Because I can't tell the difference between trash and me! Refuse marked for destruction. Reverse that thing! Bring Cody back! I can't! Cody doesn't have a recall tag. Only the bull does. So bring back the bull! That won't help unless Cody is still touching it. For Cody's sake, I hope he's not. That bull is dangerous. Our best bet is to send someone with a new tag to find Cody. And that someone is me. I don't know, Heat Wave. On TV, the guy wearing your color never comes back from these missions. It is true that the bull does not seem fond of your red exterior. I'm not going there for a bullfight. I'm rescuing Cody. Yeah, we got this. He wave transform. I don't think so. Cody will be a lot happier to see me than you. What? What, because of the soccer thing? I was joking. We're wasting time arguing. Heat wave, if you're ready. I'll beam you and Cody back exactly one minute from now. We'll miss you! Back off, you tech reject. Cody. Cody, do you copy? Cody, where are you? Cody! Cody! Uh, Doc? You were supposed to beam a bot back. That's the Scrap Master. A prototype we banished because it was too dangerous. Refuse marked for destruction. To humans. Ugh. Let's see how it feels about me. Refuse marked for destruction. I order you to cease and desist all demolition activities. Refuse marked for destruction. Now you're just flouting authority. Oh, come on, you glorified trash can. Pick on someone your own size. Keeping in mind, I'm much smaller than you. <laughs> Refuse marked for destruction. Let him go! Oh, that was my only tie. All right, everyone out. But Dad, what about Cody? We can't help him if we're all reduced to scrap. We need to regroup. Well, lock that hunk of junk inside. No way it's coming after us. Well, perhaps not. But now that menace is trapped inside with some very sensitive machinery. And we have no way to get Heat Wave and Cody back. Don't worry. I have a plan. Why am I not reassured? Okay, I think I lost that thing. Ah! Ew! Ah! Seriously? They couldn't turn these things off before sending them to the secret island? I mean, take the batteries out or whatever. It's not complicated. Cody! Where are you? Doc is beaming us back any second. Oh, no. My tag. Hey! No! Oh. Hey! Have I mentioned... No! Oh. Oh. I don't like uh, human sporting events. Ha! Serves you right. Still hungry? How about thirsty? Ah. This could take a lot of water. So, what do you think? I don't like it. The Scrap Master took down Heat Wave, and you want to go back in there? I'm the only one that thing hasn't marked for destruction. I'll slip by without it noticing. We can help run interference. Ensuring the Cade reaches the beam box safely. Any better ideas, Doc? Nothing that won't take weeks in nuclear fusion. 
All right, bots, let's move. Refuse marked for destruction. See, this is the part I wasn't really on board with. Just keep old Scrappy away from the beam box. Ah! Deploy phase two of the plan. Think rapidly. Refuse marked for destruction. Listen, purple software upgrade. I am not a tree. Oh well, worth a try. Great, everybody's here. Whoa! Wow, that was actually helpful. Uh-oh. Programmed to like blue as much as you hate red. Noble. Bring me back in ten minutes! Cody? He wave! Security! 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 Hey, you stop! Leave me alone! Security! 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 Cody! Heatwave! Come in! Cade! Is that you? Is Heatwave here too? I'm here! Great! But where is here? Security! I'm walking away from a cliff with lots of trees! I'm in some kind of dry gulch! That... doesn't really help! Why couldn't Doc give me a map? Wait, I see you! Cody, stay back! I'm on empty and these things are dangerous! What in the all spark? Don't thank me later! About the new paint job, but the bull's big on blue. And rough on red. Well, this is better than buffing out hoof dance. It does come off, right? A little help! Ah! Security! Security! Wow, Chase would love those guys. Don't worry, Kate. The bull will save you. You mean the bull that started this mess in the first place? Ah! Doesn't seem too interested in yellow droids. They don't have to stay yellow. Whoops. Guess that's why this thing's misfit tech. Heatwave, short out the droid's power switches! Can't. I'm still synthesizing water. Maybe I can help. <laughs> no way! Nice throw, Cody! Strike three and they're out! Bro, soccer is definitely not your sport. But I think I know what is. But what about the family legacy? Ah, so we start a new one. At least this way, I don't have to worry about you breaking any of my soccer records. Hate to interrupt family time, but there's still the matter of getting back to Griffin Rock. Not a problem. It's been almost ten minutes. As long as the three of us are touching, Chase should bring us back any second. Of course, we do have a berserk scrap master waiting for us. What? That's where my tag went. Maybe we should bring back up. Has it been ten minutes yet? Uh, uh, Blades, summon chief! Way ahead of you, partner. It was getting pretty noisy in here. We figured you might need some help. There's a reason rescue bots come in sets of four. Hey, trash eater, how about a junk food snack? Cade, 
where's Cody? And Heatwave. Why did you bring the bull back? Just keep the bean box open, Doc. Cade, it's paint time. Step away from the scrap master. The Scrap Master is scrap! Good work, team. Indeed. All that remains is to send the bull and that paint cannon back to the island. Do we have to? Oh, come on, Cody. You can't seriously want to keep them here. But they saved us. It doesn't matter that they're not great at what they were made for. Yeah, it's like Cody and soccer. That easy. All I'm saying is, just because you're a disaster in one sport doesn't mean you're bad at all of them. Remember me and gymnastics? <laughs> Hey, I don't like leotards, okay? Maybe it's the same thing for this tech. Now that we know what they are good at, they deserve another chance. All right, we'll give them a try. Thanks, Cade. Hey, you can thank me by grabbing your glove and meeting me at the field for practice. We want you ready for baseball tryouts. Deal? Deal. According to local legend, Numerous griffins once roamed the islands off the coast of Maine. A male griffin made its home atop the rocky peak of the largest island, where it turned to stone for a long hibernation. This gave the island its name, Griffin Rock. Uh, that's only a rock shaped like a griffin. Earning this lad pioneer folklore patch is lame. Let's see how close we can get. I think he spotted us. We need to protect ourselves. Oh, now you're talking. Just a little trick shot I've been working on. The ricochet. <gasps> you woke him up! Sir, either I am in need of a wheel alignment, or... We just had an earthquake. Graham? Way ahead of you, Dad. Checking the sensors now. Chief, may I remind you that Cody is hiking on Mount Griffin? Cody, get off the mountain and watch out for rock slides. I don't see any rock sliding. But I do see a car flying. A flying car? I don't believe any airborne automobiles are currently registered on the island. Anybody hurt? We're okay, but there isn't any driver. Danny, see if you can locate the Rubios. Their car just tumbled down Mount Griffin without them. On it, Dad. Hop in, boys. I'll take you home. Getting this folklore patch is awesome. <laughs> Dad, we've had a string of burglaries in the last 30 minutes. Couple bicycles, four satellite dishes, and a toy rocket? That's an odd assortment. Simultaneous thefts. I'll open a case file immediately. Danny, did you find the Rubios? 
Up at Griffin Point Park, they were having a picnic when their car just took off into the air. Like something had snatched it, they said. Something invisible and terrifying. I added that last part. It did look like that car was being carried and then just dropped. I'll add attempted car theft by an invisible something to the case file as well. And all this happened right after the earthquake. More specifically, it was a volcanic disturbance. Our seismic sensors put the origin on Wayward Island. But don't worry, there's no threat of an eruption. I would like to get to Wayward and replace this sensor, though. For some reason, it's offline. Good idea. Take the Darby Ava. Hey, can we all go? Uh, why? Yeah, that island's nothing but an easy place to get lost. It'll be exciting. I was just reading that female griffins used one of the nearby islands as a nesting ground. Maybe it's wayward. Old Timer's Guide to Main Island Folklore. Yeah, I'm out. Any day I'm not trudging across Wayward Island is a good day. Sorry, Cody. Aww. You do know those are only stories, right, son? Yeah, I know, but... Then why waste time looking for griffins if they're not real? Because it would be an adventure. We get enough adventure, thank you. It'll also help me write a report for my Lad Pioneer folklore patch. <sighs> it's a reason. Count us in. By us, do you mean... You too. <laughs> Chase and I have work to do here, investigating the stolen objects. Good luck solving the mystery. And good luck to you in locating the nest of an imaginary eagle-lion hybrid. What are we looking for? Female griffins. Seriously? Shoulda known. Don't worry, Blades. You won't see any. Says here, many believe female griffins turn invisible while away from their nests. That way, nothing can follow them back. Invisible? As in, something invisible snatched up my car? Hello? You're right. Do you think there's a connection? No. no. I do. Broken sensor is near the island center. We head north. Keep an eye out for anything that could be a griffin nest. What's it supposed to look like? The book says griffins only gather the strongest materials to build it. Rocks, branches. Or maybe cars or other metal objects taken from the island. Just saying. An invisible griffin is stealing metal for her nest. Of course. Told you this would be exciting. Metal, just like us. <laughs> Keep watching the skies, Blades. <sighs> I better get a lad pioneer patch for this. <gasps> As if something invisible did indeed snatch them from the air. Hmm. I don't remember coming this way when we installed the sensors. Are we lost? Maybe. Something's really interfering with the compass. I think it's that rock. Hmm, has a high level of iron. Could be a lodestone. What's a lodestone? A naturally occurring magnet. And magnets interfere with compasses. There's something carved on here. Are those griffins? <gasps> but griffins aren't real. Or so I've been told. like someone thought they were. Those are probably Viking runes. Norse explorers left carvings on a bunch of islands. Some Vikings did believe in mythical creatures like griffins. What? It was in that History of War anthology. 
What if this marker was put here because Wayward Island is the nesting ground for griffins? Those stories in your book had to come from somewhere. Uh, did you feel that? You mean the urge to go home? More like... An urge to fly! Oh. Hey! from the Darby Ava. Dad, do you read me? Something's jamming the signal. Come on, let's go find the bots. You guys okay? Oh, it felt like something grabbed me. And then just let go. I know what you're thinking, and it was not a griffin. No one's thinking that. Except maybe Blades. A griffin? It almost got me! You really saw one? Yes! Through there! Let's get back to the boat! Slow down, Blades. We're gonna have to check it out. Besides, can't drive a boat without a motor. And ours is sitting back there in the forest. Oh, we're so doomed. <laughs> It was very kind of Doc Green to lend us his floating lab. Certainly was, but I forgot how slow it moved. This is pointless anyway. There's no sign of the Rubio's car or the tow truck. But they were flying in this direction, straight for Wayward Island. Uh, has anyone heard from our Griffin searchers? Graham, Cody, are you? We better get over there. It was through there, but I'm pretty sure it wants privacy. Hang back. Wait, it's just a statue. <sighs> yeah, <clears throat> of course. What else? I'll tell you what else, an entrance. It's an ancient temple. I wonder if this place is in the book. I bet it was built by the same Viking explorers that carved the pillar we found earlier. Does it not bother anyone that this is a temple for griffins? <sighs> Just because Vikings believed in them doesn't make them real. Does it mean that they're not? Here, it says, through the centuries, the nesting grounds have been considered a sacred place and are well protected. Protected by what, I wonder? I've got a bad feeling about this. Look at the water! Unfortunate! Chase! 
gotcha. How? That was an unexpected journey, and most unpleasant. Chase, where did you come from? One moment, I was on the floating lab with the Chief, Cade, and Danny, and the next... An invisible griffin snatched you up, right? Curse our metal hides! Hello? <sighs> Boulder, where are you? Over here! What in the world? This whole courtyard is booby-trapped. Stepping on random tiles triggers some sort of rudimentary air cannons. That is diabolical. Yet kind of genius. This is why I don't like griffins. Or vikings. And I'm not crazy about the lad pioneers at the moment either. Now what? How are we getting Boulder out of there? Chase. Graham. Cody. I... I think I see the Darby Ava. I thought Graham could drive a boat better than that. I don't think this one was his fault. I see sunlight coming through on the far end. It might be a way out. Blades, can you fly through here? No, too many low dangly things. If we drive, perhaps we can outpace the cannons and reach that exit along with Boulder. <sighs> You two ride with Chase, in case the rest of us are too slow. Cool. Can I drive? No. Blades, think you can sprint it? You will be amazed by how fast I can run with giant rocks flying at me. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Question, if that's a real nest, and those are real griffin eggs, where's Mama? Mama doesn't exist. That nest is carved out of stone, and so are the eggs. Uh, he's right. It's just another Viking sculpture. Then how did all that metal stuff get up there? I, for one, am not giving up on the Mama theory. Guys, real or not, we found a griffin's nest. That's why we came, for the adventure. I was unaware there were electronics in the Viking Age. Boulder, lift me up. Me too. It's the damaged quake sensor we've been looking for. And that's the cliff where we installed it, way up on top. 
the tremors must have sent the sensor tumbling all the way down to land here. Uh, so what's it doing now? Looks like a power surge. Uh-oh. this lodestone all around us the nest is a giant magnet and when the sensor discharges energy into the lodestone it creates a super magnet strong enough to pull metal all the way from griffin rock okay so there's no invisible griffin we're still stuck i'll try shutting it down <laughs> no go once the sensor's power surges over the magnetic pull should cease as well so we just have to wait for it to shut off again. So much for waiting. We're going down. They'll fall into the lava if we don't shut off that sensor. We need to throw something up there to break it. There's not a clean shot. Don't need one. Steady. Jump! <laughs> nice shooting. Excellent aim, Cody. I want a slingshot. Shot like that are impressive. A ricochet code? Sweet. Yeah, well, this isn't my first Griffin search. Lucky for us. Um, Cody, earlier, you know that brief moment when we thought this might be an actual Griffin's nest? Yeah? That was kind of exciting. Thanks. Though the Griffin's nest wasn't real, it was fun thinking it might be, even for a while. That's why old stories get passed from one generation to the next. People enjoy wondering, what if? I'm Cody Burns, and this concludes my Lod Pioneer report on Main Island folklore. What about my patch? The rescue bots were simply too valuable not to steal. Especially upon discovering they were aliens from another world. Sigma-17 ship log, rescue bots reporting. We are departing Cybertron on a routine patrol to the Quintessa Quadrant. But how does one permanently reprogram other life forms to follow commands? Well, I found the answer in my Chamber of Youth. It not only keeps me young, but the Chamber's Vern device can also rewind years of memories, as demonstrated on the mare. Yeah. <gasps> and now the rescue bots believe they've just landed on Earth. As such, they've been told that the Boneses are their enemies, and their mission is to serve me. A new client, Madeline Pinch, needed smart robots to mine gold from beneath Griffin Rock. She even equipped them with her own phase technology to do it. That's when everything went pear-shaped, as they say. Explosions beneath the island have left me adrift. Madeline Pinch has stolen the Nemo, along with everything on board. If I don't slip into my chamber of youth soon, my true age will overtake me. End Morocco memoirs. Rescue bots! Remember, those humans are your enemies. Ignore them and come to my aid at once. Their comm units are off? What else can possibly go wrong? <sighs> One should never even ask that question. Heatwave, you really don't know me? Oh, what a sight Any for idea so what happened, you guys. He's so worried. Uh, why are they being so nice? 
Perhaps this affable enthusiasm is a fiendish ploy to disorient us. So, what's our move? Yeah, what's our move? Oh, you're asking me. Okay. Take them! Whoa, whoa, whoa! You dent your heads or something? They don't recognize us. Their memories are gone, just like with the mayor. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah! Look out! Ah! Mind. Enemies or not, it felt like something rescuers should do. Is everyone all right? Yeah. But what just happened? Was that a tidal wave? If it was, the water should be receding. It's almost like the island sank a little. I wonder if the explosions are to blame. Yeah, about that. Tell us what is going on. What were you four doing underground? We were told to mine the... Pep, pep. Say nothing until we receive new orders. Orders? From whom? From Dr... Pep, pep. Blades, I think... Pep. But we need to know what's happening to the island. Just come home with us and you can contact Optimus. He'll tell you we're your friends. I'm sorry. Does that not sound like a trap to anyone else? I say it's worth checking out. Good. Time's wasting. Rescue bots, vehicle mode. Uh, why? You're not thinking of occupying our seats, are you? Uh, of course not. Follow us. A comment about the rumors, Mayor? Rumors? Yeah. Whatever the scandal, I vow to get to the bottom of it. My administration is... The rising water, Mayor. Could Griffin Rock actually be sinking? Oh, that's preposterous! Especially during my first month in office! I'll call Professor Plummer as soon as I finish my lunch. Mm, this is delicious. Do you mean Doc Green? Plummer retired from the lab years ago. <sighs> Believe it or not, that's one of his more lucid interviews. We can reach Optimus from here? In a garage? Of course not. We're taking you down into the secret bunker. Where no one can hear you scream! It is a trap! No, no, look through there. See? Hey, that's our equipment. From our ship. Which is parked in our underground hangar. Rescue Force Sigma-17 to Optimus Prime. Do you read? Told you. Guys, maybe they're telling the truth. 
We took that photo on the one-year anniversary of your arrival. We've been here that long? Then what's our mission? To be our rescue partners, and to learn the ways of humans. But then, you guys kind of became our best friends. Well, I don't know about best, but... Okay, top two or three. Fine. Tell them everything. Dr. Morocco had us mining gold from under the island. Morocco? That explains plenty. We were also presented with phasing technology that allowed us to enter sealed caverns. Very useful. If only they weren't lost in the explosion. Wait, the same tech that Doc Green was making for a client? Not just any client. Doc did some research and came up with a name. Madeline Pitch. The original gold digger. Morocco and Pitch on one team? No wonder something blew up. Those caverns, they were full of methane gas. Only took a spark. There must have been a chain reaction when other pockets of methane exploded. And now all the tunnels have started to collapse, lowering the island. So it's true. Griffin Rock is sinking. Probably won't be anything left but the mountaintops. We'll need to evacuate forever. I'll call the mayor. I'll have the Coast Guard send boats. I'll issue a warning for people to seek higher ground. And I'll warm up some hot wings. What? We may not eat for a while. I guess it's good you guys don't have memories of Griffin Rock. Saying goodbye will be a lot easier for you. What did we do? Chase, move that tanker before it blows. Heat wave, douse the structure fire. Blades, get those people off the roof. And you're all taking your partners. You got it. Cody, check for other emergencies. Cody, any other calls? No, everyone made it to the mountains, but evacuation boats are still an hour out. Look, if part of our mission is keeping you safe, you need to head for the hills too. No, we're emergency responders. We're stand put. We hold to a similar oath. So we're in this together? Wouldn't have it any other way, but now we need a plan. Yeah, some way to stop those tunnels from collapsing anymore. How come the train tunnel is holding up? Uh, it must be because we reinforced that area with hardening foam. Then why can't the foam work on the other tunnels? Graham? It might, if we hurry and disperse it through at least the main tunnels. You need speed. We're your rides. Then let's get to docks. Hello? 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 Uh-oh. That sounds kind of like... Is anyone there? Ah, oh, my rescue bots. Thank the distant stars. I hereby instruct you to chase down my stolen Nemo. 
don't take this the wrong way, but... Uh-uh. Have you forgotten you work for me? Not anymore, Morocco. Erasing their memories doesn't change who they are. They're heroes, not your minions. Ah, hello. I'd come over and greet you properly, but my sub is disabled. Dude, not that I normally care about appearances, but you're looking old. Only temporarily, I assure you. Nothing that's been done cannot be undone. Age, memories. You're saying you can restore the bot's memories? Of course. If only the technology wasn't in the thieving hands of Madeline Pinch. Sounds like someone got double-crossed. So if we track down your C-Lab, then what? We all get on with our lives. Forget it. We're not going anywhere until we save this island. No! I mean, you'll never catch her if you wait. Your memories will be gone forever. Then so be it. Wherever there is an emergency, there are rescue bots ready to serve, save, and protect. Vehicle modes! I'd say don't leave town, but it looks like you're stuck here. These little wonders are actually part of a project I've been developing for Cade and Heatwave. Toss them into a fire, trigger a remote, and poof! They release flame retardant. Only now, we loaded them with hardening foam instead. Hardening foam that expands. At least enough to inflate those tunnels to their original size. But how do we get through all the obstructions down there? By using these phase bits. We still have four working prototypes that'll let you dissolve right through the rock. Where do we start, Doc? The underground junction by the school. It's still above water. Sorry, son. This one's too dangerous. More dangerous than being on a sinking island? I want to be with my family, Dad. Rescue bots, soar to the rescue! Why are you calling the shots? That's what team leaders do, silly. But Heat Wave's the team leader. Really? What a relief! <laughs> I'll say. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Much headroom. We're going in on all fours. What in the all spark? All right, heroes. Time to raise Griffin Rock from the sea. I'll drive. You throw. Oh, yeah. Three years as a paper boy. Bling! I'm not team leader. I won't pretend I can do things I can't. Like fly underground. You and I have done this before, Blades. Trust me, we'll own this. <sighs> oh, boy.
It is. I told you we had nothing to worry about. What? Duck! When did I go bald? Oh, finally. The fickle fates have tossed me a crumb. from the proverbial fountain of youth. <laughs> Refreshing. Well, well, well. If it isn't Doc Maroc. Where's your partner in crime? Uh, zipping to parts unknown in my escape pod, unfortunately. Is that the thing that'll bring back the box memories? And the mayor's? It is. Chief, when all is said and done, remember my willingness to help. Blades, what's your favorite TV show? What's TV? Oh, no. You said this would work! Eh, what do I know about aliens? Chief! This was all Madeline Pinch's idea, Chief Burns! <sighs> Where is that phase tech when you need it? Okay, try remembering this. You painted it, Boulder. Sorry. Nice to know I'm an artist, though. Any progress? After two scrapbooks, three photo albums, and a home movie, we got nothing. This is so unfair. How come that device gave the mayor his memory back, but not the bots? They're just built differently than humans. Let's not be sad, okay? We can make all new memories. Absolutely. I rather like this little human. Happy thoughts! Where should we start? I have an idea. All right. No triple changing in the gold this time, Heat Wave. If it means you'll stop whining about it, then fine. I hope you brought your phase tech, Frankie. Objection. Last time that device gave you an unfair advantage. On three. One, two. What? Everything you just said. Those are memories. I guess it just took longer. Yeah! Oh, oh, my gosh, yay! I remember. You're a glory hog, too. Who, me? Yeah! Hey, no cheating! First rule of rescue ball. <laughs> 